Also, House Speaker Paul Ryan unveils his goals for 2016 during a meeting of conservative activists. The speaker tried to strike a positive tone, but some conservatives weren't sure if they liked what they heard. One America's John Hines has more for us from Washington. In remarks at the Conservative Heritage Foundation, Speaker Paul Ryan said House Republicans have five priorities for 2016. As you know, we are already at work on our agenda. It has five parts. National security, jobs and economic growth, health care and entitlement reform, poverty and opportunity. And finally, the last piece of this agenda, and it is so critical to all the others, is restoring the Constitution. Generally, congressional Republicans agree on these priorities, but some conservative groups think that Speaker Ryan may be lowering the bar of the conservative agenda. Josh Withrow of the nonprofit grassroots organization Freedom Works says that even though Republicans in Congress may not win on some issues, they need to take a conservative stand. We represent millions of these grassroots activists across the country who they don't necessarily expect that Congress is going to be able to succeed in doing everything, especially with President Obama and President. Like, we're not going to be able to actually repeal Obamacare as long as Obama is wielding the veto pen. It's, it, but they want to see that Congress is willing to fight for it. And that seems to be the rub. In his remarks, Ryan was perceived as telling conservatives that it's time to move on. When voices in the conservative movement demand things that they know that we can't achieve with a Democrat in the White House, all it does is depress our base and in turn help Democrats stay in the White House. We can't do that anymore. It won't work. Withrow says he's not sure Ryan's message will be appreciated by conservatives. It sounded to me a lot like he was just asking, okay, fall in line and this is not the year to be, to be ambitious. It was kind of a mixed message to me, and I'm not really sure how, how he squares that with, with the conservatives in his caucus. The demands of conservatives in Congress, led by the House Freedom Caucus, created numerous challenges for former Speaker John Boehner, and were at least part of the reason he resigned. Now it looks like the new House Speaker may also face similar opposition from within his own party. John Hines, One American News, Washington.